So, let us move to the next problem. Prove that sin inverse 4 by 5 plus sin inverse 5 by 13 plus sin inverse 16 by 65 is equal to pi by 2. So, that means generally what do we actually observe this problem? What shall we do? Generally, we assume that this is alpha, this is beta, this is gamma and alpha plus beta is beta plus gamma is equal to pi by 2. But that is very becomes very tedious problem. First, we have to group them. So, let us consider only first two. Suppose this is alpha and this is beta. Let us find out alpha plus beta. Okay. But alpha plus beta in terms of sin or sin inverse or we have to find out or cos inverse that plays vital role while solving this problem. Because always aim at the, our value, value is here pi by 2. So, we have the pi by 2 means we have the formula already studied in the first episode that is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. That means if we are able to express the first two terms as cos inverse of 16 by 65, then directly we can say that with the help of formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 you can write it. So, that means it is very simple the sum of the first two equal to we have to prove cos inverse 16 by 65 alpha plus beta is equal to 16 by cos inverse 16 by 65. The, this can be restated that means cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 16 by 65 then this problem can be solved very easily. So, now let sin inverse 4 by 5 equals to alpha. then sin alpha equals to 4 by 5. Let us take the a right angle triangle. Let us consider a right angle triangle. So, alpha as for the definition this is 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple it we know. So, now cos alpha we can write that is also 3 by 5. So, you might be actually understood this one now. So, now let sin inverse 5 by 13 equals to beta, sin beta equals to 5 by 13. Again consider one more triangle that is a right angle triangle only. So, beta this is 5 this is 13 169 minus 25 is 144 this will be 12 again cos beta write down that is 12 by 13. So, now as for our planning or, or as for our strategy to solve this problem already we have decided first we have to find out cos of alpha plus beta. So, that means consider consider cos of alpha plus beta. So, this is nothing but cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. Am I correct? From compound angles. See the let us substitute respective values cos alpha is 3 by 5 multiplied by cos beta is 12 by 13 minus sin alpha is 4 by 5 sin beta equals to 5 by 13. So, now this is 36 by 15 sorry this is 12 by 13 65 minus 20 by 65 65 is the LCM 36 minus 20 that is 16 by 65. Yes, we proved cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 16 by 65. So, that means here alpha plus beta is equal to 
cos inverse of 16 by 65. So, that means indirectly we got the value of these two terms. So, these two terms are being replaced by cos inverse 16 by 65. Now, let us consider LHS. Here LHS is sin inverse 4 by 5 plus sin inverse 5 by 13 plus sin inverse 16 by 65. It's amazing. Really, we got this one is cos inverse 16 by 65 plus sin inverse of 16 by 65. We have one, one of the important formulae. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So, very important formula we have. With the help of this formula, can't you write directly? Why not? You can write directly the value that is pi by 2. This is RHS. Hence, it is fraud. So, let us move to the next problem. Prove that sin inverse 4 by 5 plus 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 equals to 5 by 2. So, that means sin inverse 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 is there, then we get 5 by 2. That means now we can make a plan. So, that means if we were able to actually convert this 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 in terms of cos inverse 4 by 5, so that directly we can write pi by 2. So, that means now only our emphasis on laid on this 2 tan inverse 1 by 3. That means we have to convert the 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 in terms of cos inverse function. So, that the problem can be solved in easy manner. So, first step is let us convert this 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 in terms of cos inverse. So, now so, let us say this tan inverse 1 by 3 equals to something theta. Here tan theta equals to 1 by 3, but here we have 2 theta. That is now consider cos 2 theta. So, that means very interesting factor here we have cos 2 theta can be expressed in terms of tan. So, cos 2 theta can be written like this 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So, easily we can find out we know the tan theta value. So, let us replace it. So, this equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 whole square by 1 plus 1 by 3 whole square. Now, 1 minus 1 by 9 by 1 plus 1 by 9. So, now 9 is the LCM 9 minus 1 by 9 9 plus 1 9 9 gets cancelled 8 by 10 2 4 ja, 2 5 ja. this is 4 by 5. Now, what can you write? 2 theta value can be written here. 2 theta equals to cos inverse of 4 by 5. So, theta is nothing but tan inverse 1 by 3. 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 equals to cos inverse of 4 by 5. Now, it is very easy to crack this problem now. Just consider left hand side and apply sin of x plus cos of x. That is enough. We will get the answer. 
so now left hand side sin inverse 4 by 5 plus 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3 see the 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3 is replaced by this value so sin inverse 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 so now how does it resemble it resembles to be in the form of sin inverse x plus cos inverse x so sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2 so this equal to pi by 2 see we arrive to the solution this is rhs hence it is proved